Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. I'm actually going to redo the bungee cord tutorial. So I'm on my old computer. I have this almost every same thing here. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so you're going to have to get two uh, two things before we start. Bungee cord and craft bucket. So let's go ahead and show you how to get these. Just open up your browser. Let's get our craft bucket first. You search up craft bucket. You can also be spigot. It doesn't really matter. You go you click DL versions. The links will also be down in the description below. And you just want to download the beta build or whichever version you guys want. And now, once you have that down, I'm not going to download because I actually already have it right here. So now, let's actually download Spigot. So all you want to do is search up for Spigot. And the top link should be it spigotmc.org just want to hit on downloads and bungee cord once you're here all you want to do is click on bungee cord.jar and it should start downloading it just press keep once you got those two files just drag them to your desktop and now we can actually begin with the actual tinkering <laughs> alright so I just want to actually whoa okay sorry you have to actually right click on your desktop new folder. Just want to call this, let's call this, let's just call this servers. Oh sorry, I already have a file called it that. So it's servers, I'll just call it double S. Again, you can call this whatever you want to, so it doesn't really matter. So, yeah. Not 100% sure if it recorded the desktop, because it just popped back up here. If it did not, yeah, all you had to do is right click your desktop, new folder just call it like blah, whatever the heck you want <laughs> in this case I called it servers so all you want to do is drag these two files in there now let's actually create three files let's call this one hub server this is your lobby server hub dash you don't you don't have to call this just call it like call this what I'm calling it this is your main server this is your secondary server. Let's call this one, say, get PvP. Get PvP server. And all you want, and one more, of course. And let's call this one, bungee cord. Alright, this is actually very simple. First, let's actually work on the bungee cord. So just drag the bungee cord dot jar into the actual bungee cord. Now you just want to open that file up. Now that we're in here, you just want to right click here, new, a uh, text document, which is call this like, um, start, start, just call this start, so yeah, let's go ahead, okay, sorry, <laughs> quarter stopped, so all you want to do is open up the start file, and paste this code that will be down in the description below, so yeah, there, if you have, if this says something like, could not find Java bat path, blah blah blah. I'll also put a uh, 64 version down there as well, so that'll fix that. So all you have to do is paste that in there. Oh wait, almost forgot. You want to click on File, Save as, Start, dot, bat in capital, and save it as all times and save. And this should give you this little file right up here. Go ahead and delete this other file if you got. If you were wondering what program that was, I was using Notepad++. So yeah, the link also be down in the description below. So I just want to double click on the start. And wait for this to actually start up. And you might get something like that. When it says listening, that means it actually worked. Allow access. Sorry. And go ahead and close that. Now this gets a little bit more complicated, but not that much. So you actually want to open up your config file. So the only thing really that you want to change up here, right up here, where it says MD down space 5, you just want to put your name. So your Minecraft name. So in this case, mine is Dynamic JK. Player limit, let's go ahead and put 200. Maximum players, 200. Fallback server, let's keep that at lobby. 
and your host. This is very important. You want to make sure your host is always 25565, no matter what. Always 25565. Now, let's say, let's go ahead and go down here. Let's say you have your own custom IP like dynamicduo.net or something. So in order to just do that, you just put it right down here. I didn't actually get one for this tutorial, so let's say you got something like play.test.net, something like that. And then you do this, this tells it what server to actually connect you to. So in this case, say that one connects you to the lobby, but we don't actually have a custom IP for this. So if you do, then you can put it right there, and you want to make sure you port it to your IP address in order to connect to it. So now, if you want to actually put force host default server, this means if like one of the servers happen to go offline, or you actually log in to the server in a different like you actually get sent right back to the hub. So I'll, let's go ahead and enable it. So you don't have to enable it. So now let's make the MODT. The MODT is actually easy. It uses the AND nodes. So let's say AND two and C test. Bungie for YouTube. The thing I see most people getting confused with in the, my last tutorials, they actually accidentally deleted one of the actual, one of the actual quotation, not quotation, what the heck. Yeah, it's, I'm not 100% sure. It's middle of the night. <laughs> not middle of the night, but whatever. So you make sure you have these. So you don't have to really mess with that if you don't want that. You don't mess with these at all. So now let's work with your servers. Now you'll see that it says 25565 right here. You want to change that immediately to 25570. Make sure it's always 25570 or any other port besides 25565 because Spongy Cord will be using that. So once you got this, let's go ahead and make your MODT and C hub server. So all you want to do is copy from the MODT to the top of where it says lobby you actually want to copy it click on the back of here and paste it and you want to rename lobby right down here to kit pvp minigames etc now you see where you put 25570 you, you want to switch the kit pvp to 25571 and just put kit pvp server so that's basically it. Make sure this is always online mode true. You'll see in a little bit why. So you, let's go ahead and close this. And now let's make sure it actually works. Please work. Okay, now let's see. Main column. This is actually where people actually get confused. I'm actually going to fix this right here. Reader, line 35. Line 35. Where it says lobby. Let's see where we messed up at. Hmm. Let's see. Column 9. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm going to see what's wrong. Okay, sorry guys. I found out what I did wrong. My bad. See where it says servers right here? I accidentally messed up right here. The timeout is where you see servers. Uh, you don't have to do this. I was the one that messed up with this. And just paste it like that. Control S. And let's go ahead and restart this. This should work. Yep, there we go. Once it says listening on 25565, it should work. So I will have this in the description below just in case you need to actually look at it. It's just to help you. Okay, so now let's go ahead and end. I'll actually stop it. So now let's actually work on the servers. So you want to click on the craft bucket, right click it, hit copy and paste it right here. So now let's actually go back into our bungee cord. I click on our start and copy it. Go back and go into the hub server and paste it here. You actually want to rename craft bucket this to craft bucket. So once you name this to craft bucket just right click on edit and switch this to at least 124 and then the dot jar to craft bucket 
I also have a 64 bit in the description below. So, yeah. Sorry about that. Okay, just whatever the heck that is. Move that. File. Save. Sometimes this may not work. But if it does not, I'll uh, have multiple codes in the description below. That way, if it does not work, then you can use the other codes. Let's go ahead and wait for this to start up. Once you see that it says create a config file and all that, all this right here, you can go ahead and close it. So, let's go ahead and start with the actual server properties or server file. Once you're in here, just want to scroll down to you actually see server port. You want to switch the server port to 25570, like you set it up in the actual file for the bungee cord. Then again, you can't, you uh, can set it up to 80 or still 70, and you have to change it inside the bungee cord as well. So now we actually look for our online mode. This is very important. You always want to set this to false. It, I know it sounds like, no, because that's crack players type stuff. No, that's because Bungie Cord has the online mode of true, so they'll connect through Bungie Cord. They have to be online mode true, like actual game in order to connect. So Bungie Cord will act like, act, act like a player to connect you, so that's why you want to set it to that. So once you have that set up, you can go ahead and do whatever else you want to edit in here. And just want to save. Let's just close that. Let's actually make sure, wait, you have to go inside craft bucket as well. Then again, you don't want to do this to the actual bungee cord. See where it says connection throttle? Switch this to negative one. Do not do it to the actual bungee cord though, where it says connection throttle. Only to the server. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and close this and start up the server. Okay, let's wait for this to start up. So let me pause while this starts up. And there we go. So you can just close this. Now let's set up your kit PvP server. Again, you want to right click this, copy, go inside kit PvP, right click and paste. And rename this to craft bucket. And let's go ahead and get the start file from our hub server. Copy. Servers, get PvP, right click and paste. And you can go ahead and start it up. Again, if this if this code does not work for you, there's multiple down in the description below. Just click show more and you'll see a lot down there. Okay, let's go ahead and close that now that we have all these files. I'm actually gonna go through this again, just in case you did not see. Okay, but now that we're in Kit PvP, this actually changes now. The key PvP server, you see where it says, you don't want to set it to 25570, you want to set it to 25571, as you set it up right here, 25571. So, then you just want to set the online mode to false again. And you can go ahead and save. And now, do the bu e bucket file, and you want to set the connection throttle, negative 1. And save. Go ahead and close that and start the server up. Now I'll be right back while this actually creates everything. And there we go. So let's not close this one, just minimize it. Go to servers, hub, start up your hub, minimize it. Now your bungee cord and start it up. So now let's wait for all these to start up. See if we don't get any errors. Whoops. See if we don't get any errors in any of them. Looks like we don't have any errors in none of them. Let's see. This one's actually taking some time to start up. So once you get this up, now how to connect to the server, you actually want to se send your friend a, a different IP address. So I don't know why that spammed opened. All you want to do is go to I my IP address. Just search up my IP address. The little black right here that pops up, just want to right click copy and you give that to your friend or anyone else that you want to connect to your server server that IP now let's actually connect to our server so I'll be right back and start up my minecraft okay and we're here so all you want to hit do is direct connect paste the IP right here 
and just join server. Let's wait for us to connect. Now if we get an error, I'll see what we can do to fix it. Uh, if you get an error, comment down in the description and I'll try to see what I can do. Now that we're on the server, you can actually do slash server and you can see that you can connect to multiple servers now. So right now you're currently connected to the lobby, so slash server kit PvP and we get sent to the kit PvP server. And now you saw how we put admin underneath there where MD downspace 5 name was. Since we did that, now we get access to slash alert and see and do. Hello, everyone. And you get the message, everyone in the entire server. So, yeah. If you have issues um, with anything, please make sure to comment down in the description. And I will PM you with my Skype. And I will try to fix it for you. So, yeah. Thanks. Uh, remember, all links and stuff is down in the description below. So, yeah. See you guys next time. Remember, rate, subscribe, and comment if this actually helped. Bye.